Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the upper blower housing in a Whirlpool dryer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a putty knife, a pair of locking pliers, a pair of needle nose pliers, an adjustable wrench, a 5 16 inch nut driver, a quarter inch nut driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, an 11 16 inch socket wrench, and a wrench with a half inch driver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new upper blower housing. The upper blower housing supports the blower wheel and the blower drive pulley. The main reason why the upper blower housing would need to be replaced is if the blower pulley will come off the shaft, damaging it, causing the dryer not to heat up. We need to start with opening the door and lifting the top panel. Insert the putty knife into the seam under the top and push in the locking clip, one on each side. Lift the top and put it against the wall or on some kind of support. Using the small flat blade screwdriver, disconnect the wire harness plug. With the 5 16 inch nut driver, remove the two top screws, one on each side. Tilt the front panel slightly back, pull it up to remove it from the mounting clips at the bottom. To remove the front bulkhead, disconnect the two moisture sensor wires. Then, using the 5 16 nut driver, take out two screws at the bottom, two screws on the sides, and loosen up two screws at the top. Pull the bulkhead up and remove it from the top screws. Reach underneath the drum, push the other pulley arm towards the motor, and release the drive belt. And now remove the drum from the cabinet. If the belt is still on, turn the flywheel and take the belt off the blower pulley. Using the 11 16 second wrench and the adjustable wrench, unscrew the flywheel nut and remove the flywheel. To remove the blower drive pulley, put one hand inside the blower housing and grab the blower wheel and using the adjustable wrench, turn the blower pulley clockwise with the other hand. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, take out the screws and remove the thermal fuse and the thermistor. Remove the 5 16 inch screw and remove the ground wire. Using the needle nose pliers, squeeze the tabs and push out the wire harness retainer clip. Remove the two 5 16 screws to the right of the blower housing. Remove the two quarter inch screws that holds the brackets to the blower housing. Remove the 5 16 screw at the bottom of the left side blower housing mounting bracket. Pull the blower housing assembly from the rear exhaust vent and take it to a table.
At this point, use the opportunity to vacuum the lint inside the dryer. As you can see, there's plenty of lint here under the blower assembly. Take out the seven quarter inch screws and remove the duct cover. Remove the blower cover. Now we need to remove the blower wheel. Clip the locking pliers on the blower shaft. Make sure you grab it by the shaft, not the threads. Insert the wrench with a half inch drive into the square opening in the center of the blower wheel. With a hard knock in a clockwise direction, break loose the blower wheel and then remove it. This is the old upper blower housing next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. After cleaning the blower wheel, thread it on, turning it counterclockwise. Install the blower drive pulley by turning it counterclockwise. And using the adjustable wrench, tighten up the blower pulley and the blower wheel. To install the blower cover and the duct cover, you need to match these two tabs with the holes in the cover first, and then secure them with the seven quarter inch screws. Let's get to the dryer and install the blower housing. Make sure the tab on the mounting plate fits into the opening in the motor bracket between the two holes for the screws. Fit the round end at the back into the exhaust pipe and the tab on the right into the hole in the bracket. Secure the blower housing to the motor bracket with the two 5 16 inch screws. Put the blower housing bracket on and secure it to the bottom with a 5 16 inch screw. Use the two quarter inch screws to attach both brackets to the blower housing. Install the thermistor and secure it with the two 5 16 screws. Then install the thermal fuse and also secure it with the two 5 16 screws. Use the 5 16 inch screw to attach the ground wire to the blower housing. Lock in the wire harness retainer clip. Place the flywheel on the motor shaft and secure it with a knot using the 11 16 socket wrench and the adjustable wrench turning the socket wrench clockwise. Install the blower belt with the rib surface facing the flywheel and the blower pulley. Then take the drive belt, wrap it around the drum, right about the dark spot here from the belt and make sure that the rib side is facing the drum and carry it inside the cabinet. Install the drum on the rear support rollers. Slowly turn it to make sure it's on correctly. Pull down on the belt with one hand and place it under the idler pulley. Push the idler pulley all the way towards the motor with the other hand and place the loop on the motor pulley. Turn the drum at least one complete turn to make sure the belt is on correctly. Now we need to install the front bulkhead. Place the drum over the lip 
lift the bulkhead up slightly and hang it on the two top screws. Tighten the top two screws and install the four 5 16 inch screws at the bottom. Connect the moisture sensor wires with the black one on the top. Lift the front panel up and install it on the bottom mounting clips. Push the front panel forward and secure it with the two 5 16 inch screws. Connect the wire harness plug. Lower down the top panel and push it down to lock. Then close the door. Plug the dryer back in and stop hand drying your laundry all over the house. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, Please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.